You guys, I'm a little stressed out because our new baby is supposed to arrive today. Good morning, everybody. Starting off the day, freezing cold out here at Walmart, getting some medicine for Hazy. She woke up with a fever today, you guys. Poor little thing. She was just sitting in there saying, come get me. I went in and got her. I thought she'd be thrilled to see me. And she goes, I want mom. So she's got mom, I've got medicine, and we're ready to start this day. This is when the GoPro would come in handy to get that wider angle shot to show you exactly what's going on here, guys. I've got the coat, the hoodie, it's freezing cold, but was in a rush to take the kids to school and get Hazy her medicine and get home in time to get ready to go to work. And so on the bottom half, I have on shorts and flip flops. I got you some medicine. Are you feeling okay? Yep. Are you feeling better? Let me see. Oh, yep. You're a little bit hot. A little bit hot. You're watching Sophia? Yeah. I make you feel much better. I got you some medicine. Yeah. You got your bunny? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you think Tylenol is a treat, I got you a treat. It's bubblegum flavored though, but you don't need any. We brought home some goodies from the jazz game last night. I didn't realize mom grabbed all cookies. Guess what Brexon just found? <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies! Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah! I thought those were the fruit ones. I know, I thought that was like fruit and veggies, but it's cookies, way better. <laughs> oh no, here comes Hazy, don't let her see, don't let her see. Oh, there's nothing going on here, Hazy, what? Candy. No, not candy, it's medicine. It's bubblegum medicine, though. You want some bubblegum medicine? No, I want the candy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm home. I gotta run upstairs, get ready for the day. Gonna head off to work. Mom's already working this morning. I think now, sh she can't hear me. She's in the other room. I think I might try and surprise the family tonight and cook them dinner. So wish me luck. I'm gonna try and do that. Gourmet meal coming from dad. If you know me at all, I'm not good in the kitchen. Let's see how this goes. Mom's working today, but I wanted to show you and introduce you to one of my very favorite clients. You might know her from This Is How We Bingham, the famous Hazel Bingham. <laughs> Did we do your nails today? Yeah. They look so pretty on you. Yeah. Are you beautiful? Yeah. Should we do a top coat on your nails? I did the color. Should we put a clear coat on them? Yeah. Let mommy find it. Where is it inside of all my stuff? Tell everyone what you want. I want the broccoli. It sounds like she's saying broccoli, but she's saying sparkly. Sparkly. <laughs> It's the cutest thing ever. We are gonna do a clear coat on her nails so that her polish will last longer. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay. Put your nails down. Good girl. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, do you love them? What's your favorite color? Pink. Do you think pink is? Do you know what my favorite color is? My favorite color is red. And I like pink too. Both are my favorite colors. But I think the pink that's on your nails is my favorite. <laughs> Is that silly? Those are the most perfectly pink nails for a perfectly pink hazy. Oh, don't touch. Keep them still and keep them flat and dry. Should we blow? Good girl. That is such a good girl. Oh, just make sure they stay dry. Thanks for coming into my office. Okay, you gonna go watch Sophia the first? Okay, I love you. Bye. I've gotten all of my responsibilities done. I've done some more clients and now it's time to get the kids. You guys, I'm a little stressed out because our new baby is supposed to arrive today. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> ha. Brandon ordered his new drone and it's supposed to come today. I'm stressing out because it needs a signature and I have to leave. So I wrote a little note. Dear FedEx man, I had to go get my kids from school. So here's my signature. We'll see if it comes by the time I get home. I'm a little nervous though. So I'm gonna go wake Miss Hazel and go get the boys from school. It looks like you're How are you feeling? Are oh, you just so sleepy? Your hair looks beautiful. Hey, who is it? Me. My crew-a-doo. <laughs> and there's my right guy. Can we just take a moment and look at Hazy's hair? <laughs> Hazel! Hi! Can you smile? <laughs> All right, you guys, what's up? I just got home. It's been a full day of activity here in the Bingham house. Mom has been working all day today. I just walked in the door from work. She just finished up her last client. And you guys, what is the last thing she's gonna wanna do after working all day here in the home? Prepare an exotic gourmet meal for the Bingham family. So guess who's gonna try and tackle that 
tonight. Now, if you guys know anything about me, if you've been here for any amount of time, I am not handy in the kitchen. I'm actually really not handy anywhere. The kitchen is certainly not the place that I thrive, so I am not gonna go this alone, you guys. I figure if I'm gonna try and make an exotic, gourmet, delicious, healthy meal, I'm gonna need some help. So we have partnered with HelloFresh for this one, and it makes a lot of sense because this is not something I could do by myself or that I would even dare try by myself. This is what we're looking at making tonight, you guys. And even though HelloFresh makes it super easy with the ingredients already measured out and everything you need in the bag, ready to go, pre-prepared, I still feel like we might need some adult supervision in here. So I'm gonna have to call mom in on this one. Hey, sweetie, I know you've been working all day. I would like to make you dinner tonight. Even though HelloFresh, <laughs> it, it looks like I got it together, doesn't it? I'm gonna need your help on this one to supervise, but I want to make you dinner. Can I cook you and the family dinner tonight? Yes, I wanna see how this turns out. Okay, just because I'm a little nervous about like cutting off my fingers, I'm gonna ask you to stay in the kitchen. anything like this. This is what we need to know right now. Comment below, will it look anything like this when I'm done? You may remember the last time we did HelloFresh and mom cooked it, it looked almost exactly like the picture and it tastes better. Now, I'm it's so dad's bad. turn. Does this look good to you? We've got a few choices. Which one looks the best to you? We've got meatloaf balsamic, Ooh, little ears pasta. That looks kind of fun. Kind of like how it has like the salad and the potatoes and the chicken. You always go for what looks pretty. You always like the one that looks good and tastes good. Well, I say we crack into this. I just need you here for supervision, but I'm gonna take care of this, okay? Let's do it. Are you gonna help daddy make dinner tonight? Yeah. Look at you in your little apron. Ooh la 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 la. Hey, mom's got an apron. I better suit up. <laughs> All right, guys, one of the things that I absolutely love about HelloFresh, especially for a rookie like me, is it literally has pictured diagram of every step and exactly what to do. Not only are the pre-measured ingredients so convenient for me especially, but these pictured and step-by-step -step picture, it gives me so much confidence that I'm gonna actually be able to pull this off. Brandon is a little flustered and a little nervous <laughs> to make dinner. <laughs> We've like started and stopped here. this four times. I'm panicking. He's like, I don't know how to do this. And I was like, honey, it is actually very easy. So why don't you start with seeing what's inside your bag? Oh, okay, that's a good start. Okay, here we go. Ooh, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love that this comes pre-measured with breadcrumbs. We got some potatoes, potatoes, all individually. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's so perfect for this, you guys. We need all of it out though, so go ahead and take it all out. For the produce. Okay, good job. Way to go. <laughs> oh, this is what I baste the chicken with. The basil pesto. You want to baste that with a basting brush or the back of a spoon. Just See? That, that was one of the little hints that he found I on the recipe. Tell him it's a hint. I just thought of that. I just, in my natural instincts in the kitchen, thought to baste the chicken breast. All right, step number one. What does it say? Get a breathing bag. Okay. Preheat <laughs> and prep. Wash and dry all produce. Let's do it. Hazy girl, the next step is to chop these up into half inch cubes. You got that? Not working. It's not working? That's good, that means we gave you the right knife. Okay, <laughs> dad's gonna attempt to take this bad boy and chop these up into half inch cubes. See if I can do it. These aren't cubes, what am I doing? <laughs> hey, but if you wanted potato chips, I got that covered. Come on, cubes, okay, I gotta do cubes. Baby be careful, I strike one. You guys know that the go-to for dads, especially me as a dad, there's a lot of dads who cook and are really great at it. In fact, my brother's one of them. But for me, it's, you know, pizza. It's whatever I could just grab and buy on the way home or have ordered and delivered. So what I love about this is that this is literally in our refrigerator. I don't have to order. I don't have to spend the money on eating out. And it's gonna be a lot healthier. It's gonna be a lot better for us. And of course, you're gonna look like much more of a rock star when you throw together a meal like this versus just ordering up a pizza. Stoked to see how much the family enjoys this and see if the kids enjoy dad's home-cooked meal for a change. Next step in this process is to make the crust. So I'm gonna take a small bowl, and mix together the panko, mozzarella, olive oil, and a pinch of salt and pepper. So let's do this. You did it! Is it a little bit? Okay. The big one. So guys, check this out. We moved on to the chicken portion. If you guys have followed Mindy and some of the things that she loves, she loves thinly sliced chicken breast. So I was super stoked to crack these open and see that these are very thinly sliced just the way she likes it. It's gonna cook evenly and nicely all the way through. So I know she's gonna love it.
Another one of the things that I love about these HelloFresh meals, you guys, and why we love partnering with them, is that you can do these meals in around 30 minutes. So that's about as long as it would take to sit around the house waiting for a pizza to get delivered, but instead, you can cook up a gourmet meal in your own home, impress the heck out of your wife, and make your kids super happy. Pesto presto! I think we're ready to go-go. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken just came out of the oven. I'm gonna call the kids and have them come home and let them know that dad cooked dinner tonight. So let's call Rag Guy right now. Hey dad. Hey Rag Guy. Yeah? Come home because guess what? What? I cooked dinner tonight. What the? You cooked dinner? <laughs> yeah. Come home and tell me if it's any good. Okay. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. Kids are on their way home. Let's get this meal plated up. Well guys, we're gonna plate it up right now and we're going to serve one of the first ever home cooked meals by dad. No, That's not a joke. The first one, I can't remember. Like I've done pizza, I've Wait, done cereal. Well like from front, like from start to end, like I don't think you've ever cooked like a full meal. Not with like ingredients and stuff. Okay. <laughs> the beginning of this, we said, can dad make this to look just like the picture on the recipe? Here's the final product. Here is dad's presto pesto panko chicken. Say that three times fast. Presto pesto panko. <laughs> here it is, my version. And here is the picture on the recipe. Bye guy, what do you think? Does it look pretty close? It looks the exact same. Oh my gosh, I love you. I love this kid. What do you it think? It really does, it looks incredible. It looks pretty dang good, but is it going to taste good? <laughs> you guys, this is making me feel so good. That pesto is so good. It may be hard to believe, but Dad pulled off an epic meal tonight. Thank you to our partnership with HelloFresh. Guys, so good. we love partnering with HelloFresh. We hope you guys enjoy that one as well because we get to have a delicious meal. You know Mindy loves to cook. Dad got a chance to cook. And we get to bring you guys a really rad deal at the same time. We want to share with you this special offer to our subscribers. If you go to HelloFresh.com, make sure you use the link in the description. Click that link and then enter promo code Bingham30. And that's going to give you 30 bucks off your first week. These meals average out to be like... 10 bucks a meal, so it's actually a really great deal. And there's so much convenience built in. They have a variety of chef curated meals that change weekly, different recipes that change weekly. We do the family plan. That's the one that works best for us. They have all different plans that you guys can choose from. They even have a vegetarian one, which I know some of you out there are vegetarians. We're working on increasing our vegetable intake. This has been a delicious meal, and we have really appreciated so and love this partnership. Again, use the link in our description. Go check out HelloFresh. Give them a try. Bingham 30 is gonna get you 30 bucks 30 off your off. first week. Let us know what you think of it. Let us know what you chose, what package you chose. And when you get your first meal, we want to hear about it. We want to hear how much you love it because our kids love it. We love it. This is so good. Even Laz wants in on the action. You want some, bro? <laughs> The one that I still want to get my hands on though is the Hall of Fame Juicy Lucy Burger with tomato onion jam and arugula salad. That's one of their Hall of Famers. It's one of their like amazing recipes. It's one of the few that we haven't tried and so we really want to try that one. That's gotta be next. Really yeah, that one we gotta try next. We cleaned up dinner, got the dishes done. I did that tonight because dad cooked, which doesn't usually happen. So that was kind of incredible and the food was really good. We have got the kids bathed and now we are gonna open a few packages to show you guys what we've got from our fan mail. So Ryler has a package from Megan. Megan Thorne. Megan Thorne. Kruby has one from Caitlin. Hazy and Brex have a package from Hadass. This one's coming all the way from Israel, everybody. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna have Raga go first. Three, two, one, go. What? Oh my Valentine's. Oh my gosh, I picked up this package too late. But you guys, these are such fun activities for us to do all the time. Okay, Kruby, I wanna see what's in yours. One, two, three. What? <laughs> are you excited? Do you know what those are? Dirt bike gloves. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. What do you say? Thank you. Okay, Hazy and Brex, what do you kids got for me? Whoa, look at all these. Here's a letter. Oh. Dear Bingham family, first of all, I got you this package. It traveled a long way to get to you all the way from Tel Aviv, Israel, the beautiful Middle East. Wow, you guys, look at all these cool treats. There's a description on each and every package. Wow, this is awesome. This is incredible. You guys, these are incredible packages. Crew is super excited about his gloves. These Valentine's packages, even though Valentine's is past. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't even tell her to do that. These are still awesome things that the kids will use all the time. So thank you so much. And all of the treats, we love it. You guys are the very best. What do we say when we open fan mail? Thank you. Wait guys, but isn't there one more package? 